About 30 more seconds. Then I'm going to put your answer choices up. I see some people have their notes out. That's a fine thing to use. All right, I'll give you about 30 more seconds, but I'm going to put your answer choices up. So now, which one of those is how much he has to pay back after two years? What is his interest for two years? When you think you got to hold your clicker up. All right. Let's see how we did. What do we think? Do we think we're all right? Yeah. All right, I want you to think about this. Think about the answers we have up here. Do some of them not make sense? What answer up here has makes zero sense for this problem? What could we get rid of just by looking at the problem and looking at the answers? What could I get rid of? Okay, they're bigger than the loan, and we know in a lot of the ones we've looked at, the interest we pay is usually going to be smaller than that loan unless we're paying for a large period of time. And we're only paying for two years. So it's not going to be bigger than that. So now we're down to those two. How did I come up with A? Nobody picked it. Anybody know how I came up with it? That's 300 times 0 0.06. Okay. So he said I took $6,300 times our rate of 0 0.06. And that gave us, when we do multiply that, you get 378. What does that represent? It's taking the numbers up there. It represents something. One year. One year. And this is what we talked about yesterday when you were looking at your cars, because a lot of you were calculating it and you were trying to set it up like we did before where we put six out of 100 and then we had the 6,300 and this right here. And you were asked, when you got your answer, you came up and told me what you got and I said, well, what's that represent? And you told me five years. Well, look at what we did here. If we're talking about two years, did I ever use two? No, so that's just representing one year. This right here is one year. So that's why when we looked at our notes, we changed the formula around to just do this so that we don't forget our years. Okay? And you guys did awesome. You saw that it needed to be those two years. How does this answer relate to what you guys got, though, with your cars yesterday? What do you notice about the interest here compared to your car? Did you get the same kind of numbers? Did you get around 756? No. 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 What happened with your car? Oh, you had to take a bigger loan. You had to take a bigger loan, so that meant what? Bigger interest. And if you notice, this is a pretty big interest rate. Yours yesterday were like 1.2 or 2.2. They weren't as big as that. So that's changing what we've got. So the bigger the amount you're borrowing, the more you're going to have to pay in interest. We talked about this yesterday. A couple groups were asking, well, what if I get a used car? Well, look right here. A 6,300. My car was only 8,000. I paid for the whole thing, but let's say I didn't have that. Even at 6%, that's a high interest rate. I'm not paying as much. Okay. What else can affect the amount of the interest you pay? So the size of the loan, and what else? Uh, the amount of years. The amount of years, because look at it. In one year, I paid 378, but what if I have to pay that for 10 years? It starts adding up, doesn't it? So that's what we're looking at with this. And so I wanted to do this because we had a lot of those misconceptions yesterday. And you just showed me what we did yesterday worked, and we figured those out. Okay? So go ahead and put your bell worksheet someplace safe. And right now, you need nothing out on your desk but your pencil and your calculator.